Come out, Dr. Mueller. What is this? What's going on? We've been injected with a microchip, a consciousness communications device we've been developing here at the organization. What do you know about Project Z Plus? Almost nothing. It's funny. It's been said that humans are the only species with a true understanding of the concept of time. But as it turns out, time is actually rather malleable. But what is time in reality other than a concept of our own interpretation? This pill allows us to interpret that sense of time differently. An hour here, for an hour there. A day, tomorrow, forwards, backwards, consciousness, time travel. I don't have any. <laughs> if you had, you'd have known we were coming. Tell me, do you know the whereabouts of this man? That man is dead. Sure. My information tells me he was rather generous in sharing his information with you. He was a colleague in the science community, that is all. I am sorry. Sir, we found something. Uploading now. Thank you, Dr. Mueller. This will be quite useful. That thing's not going to recognize you and burn your eye out. Only every time. Ready? See you tomorrow. What is she? 205, movie line. She's coming. Welcome to tomorrow. There's little to no security, so this should be relatively simple. These should get you to the elevator and up to the 13th floor. They hire an external vendor for the afternoon cleanup. And the target is? Whiteboard in room 1334. I can never see shit in these contacts. You only keep me going in with purple eyes, so. Will you be able to see the target? Maybe. It won't be perfect. Well, we need perfect. Keep them in until the target's in view. OK. Everything will just be blurry in time. Good. Remember, no details. We don't want to know what this company does, who works there, nothing. Martin, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Fucking contacts. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Jeez.
Didn't you guys switch to mornings? I, I could have swore I got that memo last week. Shit, the cleaning schedule's from last month. Oh, um... That's for daylight saving, sir. We don't switch over till next week. Oh. Okay. Well, good for you. I hate those dark mornings. Take care. Thanks, Martin. Oh, anytime, Finn. Ready? We're ready. Showtime. May I have your attention, please? This is not a drill. I'm the building. Do not use the elevator. After you leave the building, please wait. Can't see shit. Are we on time? Ten minutes. We should be fine. I'll go inside. You get the girl. Um. Not sure you needed me for this one. Finn, where are you? Finn, hello. Just get out and meet me at the loading dock. I ditched the van for now. We'll get it later. We work for... Quiet. I found them. Copy. Come on. Let's go. Me? Martin, where are you guys? Can you tell us who you are? Or where we're going? Does it make sense with the mask and all? Open the door. Come on. Okay? Yeah. We're okay. You really like those tranquilizers. What's going on? You tell me. Who are those guys? I have no idea. We need to get away from here before we switch back. Finn, you have the carjacker. Yeah, I, I have it. It's not ready, but I have it. 50-50 shot, it'll work. 50-50. Maybe 60-40. Do it. Pick us up in the back. How are we doing, Ken? Two minutes until we jump back. Yeah, I'm working on it. Where the fuck is she? Got it. One minute! For Christ's sake, this isn't tea time! Let's go. I'm sure you'll paint me later. We're not out yet. 40 seconds. Well, shit. Jesus Christ, Ben! Oh, 
Five seconds. See you in the truck. Well, that was a shit show. We'll talk about it when we get back. We have to do something. Look, what if we just we change Stop. the date? You know the rules. We don't do anything that will affect tomorrow between two or five and three or five p.m. Martin, your rules are going to get us killed. They're the only things that are keeping our feet on the ground. Do you have the target? Yeah. Again, don't think you needed me for that. Maybe, maybe not. But I don't have a photographic memory. It needs to be verbatim. I'm worried about this. Come on, Finn. The carjacker worked, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happens when it doesn't work, Finn? All the electronics in the car seize up for 30 seconds and we get locked inside. Oh, but it did work. Oh. And that means it is your job to make sure that it still works tomorrow. And then when we get out of the city safely, we'll figure out the rest. Where are you going? I gotta get up early tomorrow. See the representative, get our money. I'll see you two tomorrow at the spot. Hey, it's gonna be fine. What you're, what you're experiencing, experiencing right, now right now are the effects of consciousness time consciousness time trading. You see, your mind is reordering its events. I saw. You saw tomorrow, and tomorrow you'll see today. Money should be in your account within the hour. Thanks. By the way, the offer still stands. You hand over the supply, and I promise you can name any number you want. Not interested. May I at least have your name? 
Have a good day. You okay? Yeah. I'm ready? Yup. Welcome to yesterday. Now we wait. Okay, tell me again, what exactly is the plan once we're back in the car? We wake up, we drive out of town, and we assess. So basically, wing it. Get us out of the city. On it. <gasps> I don't know who the fuck that was, but they weren't no match for Lee. Oh no. Coming in in the red shorts, weighing 175 pounds. Lee. Oh no. Mm. What exactly did you do in this operation? Amateur hour. All day, every day. 50-50, Finn. 50-50, 60-40. No, I'm just saying. Oh, fuck. Fucking Christ, go! Go! God damn it, Finn! Go. The brakes are locked up. 60-40 on that carjacker, huh? All right, we're out. We're on foot. Hey! Hey, it's not open! What the fuck is Martin? I'm into the future. I'm, in a, I'm at tomorrow and I spent an hour there, but that hour is actually here today. Wait, 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 wait. What you're talking about is what? Some, some kind of time machine? Kind of, but it's just for your mind. It's not for your body. I'm not explaining this well. Okay, so are you sure they weren't just giving you some psychedelics? <laughs> no, man. Okay, shit. Okay. Well, Thank you. Are you sure you have the money? Yeah, man. All right, then. I owe you. No, and there's more. So, before I left, they gave me a job. It's a really good job. It pays really well. And Maddie, we're finally going to get you the treatment that you need. I am getting the treatment I need. Fuck that. The treatment that you deserve. 
You and me, we're gonna beat this thing together. You're not lying? No. I really believe that. asking for is a little more transparency. You have to understand, we don't know your name, we can't see your face. We've discussed it and believe you should consult the board for any future trades of this size. Is that what? You seem a bit unpredictable. Unpredictable, really? That's cute. Tell me, how much money has your firm cleared in the past six months thanks to the organization? Look, we're not questioning your value to the company. We, we there just... is nothing unpredictable about what I do. Markets change. You keep trading like this and you'll eventually lose. The world is unpredictable. People are unpredictable. On the contrary, people are the product. And they're a product that should be controlled. Stick with me and reap the benefits, or else we can part ways right here, right now. No, no, that won't be necessary. Carry on. You requested to speak with me? Yes, I have a job for our little friend. I, uh, I thought he was clear he no longer wished to cooperate. Yes, well, you and I both know what happens to people who don't cooperate with the organization. Let's make sure he gets that message. <laughs> I'll do my best, but to be honest, the man is a bit of an idiot. That man is key to everything. Hello? I see you're enjoying the company of your new friends. Don't worry, you're safe. For now. Well, I have another job for you. Saying no isn't really an option. How do they get our names? Our addresses? You said we were good. I don't know. Well, what are we supposed to do? You got rid of it, right? Yeah. I mean, could just ignore them. Call it bluff. Did you already forget what happened? Wait, when you came to me with this shit, you told me that these jobs were going to be low risk, high reward. I think about it every day. You think that I don't feel the same way as you? No, you don't. Because it wasn't your fault. It never should have come to that. We weren't prepared for an ambush and that's on me. Regardless, I trusted you then and I still trust you now. I mean, you trust me, don't you? Honestly, no, I don't. Well, I guess that's why we never worked out. Uh, worked out? What? New Hampshire, baby, two years ago. That was a long time ago. Did you actually get rid of it like we talked about? Yeah. What's with the new decals on the band? <laughs> Starting my own security company. 
Uh, that sounds fun. Yeah, it's not. <sighs> Why aren't we already dead? You motherfucker. You still have the Z, don't you? And you wonder why I don't trust you. Fine, but I'm not using. <laughs> Lee, we talked about this. After what happened to Martin, we both agreed that this had to end. Yes, but we also both agreed the less you know, the better. The rules are- Oh my God, I know the rules. Okay, but in my defense, the organization is going to kill us if we don't do this job, so you're welcome. 14 account numbers? It's a lot. It's also a big price tag. Look, one last job, and we're done. Gonna need a new photog. I'll handle it. You can barely handle it yourself. What's your plan? I'm gonna go see Danny. Okay, whatever. If we're gonna do this, I need to start planning now, so just make it happen. Take a shower. Today. Cece, it is good to see you. What do you want, Lee? I just came by to say hello. See how you were doing. Just fine. Until you showed up. Where's Danny? He's busy. Two seconds. See what's up? Good, baby? Yep. Hey, Joe. Right. Thought I smelled some shit up in here. <laughs> Danny, how you doing, man? You better tell me what the fuck you doing in here, man. I'm just coming by to say hi. Your ass better not be in here making no bets. I wouldn't dream of it. Damn right you wouldn't dream of it. You still owe me, motherfucker. Nah, that's exactly what I'm doing here. Paying you back, baby. I guess it's a start, huh? How you been? No fussing. Bought a boat last summer, huh? Yeah. Thought I might like fishing. Turns out I don't. Don't anybody looking to buy? Sorry. Nah, it's all right. I need a favor. Of course you do. Can you stop being such a sour puss? Sour puss? Let me explain something to you. You spent four years coming in here, making bets, taking my fucking money, only for me to find out you've been using that Z-Boy shit. Danny, that was the old me. Those days is gone, you know what I mean? It's all over, it's a brand new league, right? You you uh, you still live in that RV that you won off Simpson? <laughs> yeah. Uh, how about that Mercedes that you won off Tanner? You still rolling around in that? Okay, yeah. Got a fucking thing changed. You're a son of a bitch, you know that? And this money, where's this coming from, huh? Oh, you, you spend your days working as a substitute teacher, making the diners way? <laughs> no, I ain't think so. Yes, it's still using me, which is why I can trust you as far as, far as I can toss you. What do you want, man? I need a photo talk. Okay, what the fuck happened to Martin? He retired. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, but that right there, that's the bullshit, okay? That's why you need to stop, all right? That's what happens when you start fucking with time. As long as you got these pills, you'll never be able to walk away. Once an addict, always an addict. Ain't that right? what they say? You two are bookies. You make your living off of addicts. It's fair enough. I got a job. It's a big one. 
You two help me out. I'll pay you back double what I owe you. Lucky like somebody loves you. Tell you what. Yeah, I do know someone. Old Phil from the Racino came in the other day. Talking about some lady he had to kick out. Said she was the best kind of he ever seen. Spends her days on campus collecting money from all the rich college kids. It's taking all their tests and shit. Yeah, she's a tough little thing. Night? Yeah. She spends those at the casino on Broadway. She set up a table right here in this bar. Chances are she'll be here later on the night. <laughs> Way past my bedtime, though. I saw you on campus and now here. What do you want? I don't think you're a student, are you? I might be. Here to blackmail me? Not quite. I do have a proposal for you. Also, you know you don't need a photographic memory to count cards, right? Doesn't hurt. You got a history of drug abuse? What? No. Good. Don't take it. But I usually love taking pills from strange men at bars. It's called Z+. Plus. Look it up. If you're interested, meet me tomorrow at Jennings Landing, 8 a.m. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. First things first, I want to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that little notification bell at the bottom so you never miss another video. Let's just dive right in. A question popped into my feed today about a Reddit post detailing a so-called time travel pill. I took a look and of course met it with heavy skepticism, but after a little bit of research, I'm not so sure. See, to really understand where all this comes from, we're gonna have to go back a couple of years and talk about a man named Dr. J. Tupple, who's a neurophysicist who died in 2018, or so they say, but more on that later. His studies on the concept of consciousness time trading were considered controversial due to his use of human test subjects. Now the serum, which was called Z, reportedly made the subjects crazy. Later, it was advanced into its current pill form called Z+. And that was before his disappearance in 2019 after the Russian mob reportedly raided his laboratory. The police never found his body and they've since declared him dead. But this wouldn't be the first time Dr. Tupple brought on this type of controversy. See, two years earlier, he was declared dead after being involved in the rescue of a missing child, only to turn up six months later unharmed. See, this has led several people to theorize that Dr. Tupple is in fact alive and is on the run and is using the Z Plus to stay ahead of those that are looking for him. The pill is rumored to be able to change the order in which our minds perceive time and events. But this is where the facts get a little bit less certain. Yeah, I know. We'll get him, don't worry. What do we have here? I think this one's over the edge, boss. Stop! How many times do I have to tell you I don't want to see their faces? Want me to put it back on? No, cut them loose. Wait in the car. Tell me, what seems to be the matter? <sighs> Nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. I made a, a stupid joke and George took me too seriously. Everything's good. I'm sorry to hear that. If there is something wrong, you could tell me. Uh, 
I'm trying to remember what happened. Even two fucking minutes ago, and I can't. Two sides. Two competing memories. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Look, man. I can't take it anymore. I... Like cars crashing together in my brain. I don't know what's real anymore. I see. I have to ask you. Did you or did you not do what I asked of you? I did. I did. Put the sack back on your head, please. straight and get some more Z's serum for one of the new guys. All right, what is this, really? Time travel pills? I mean, what are you trying to sell me, magic beans? You're trying to get me to pass them off to others. I'm trying to offer you a job. No, thank you. I did a little research on you. You're in debt and with the wrong people. I've been there before, it sucks. I'm guessing now you're looking for a way to start over? Okay, I'm gonna humor you for a second and believe that this is real. Explain. On the papers, what I'm offering for the job. Let's get coffee. No, 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 no. I mean, there are many ways to get exposure. Well, that's what everyone gets wrong, right? I mean, if everyone was getting right, then they they, they would know about it, right? Okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, I, yeah. I'm just leaving right now. Okay. I gotta go. Okay, consciousness time trading. Just walk me through it. Okay. Hey, miss. How you doing? You got a pen on you? Thanks. Okay, so we think of time in a straight line. One road leading from A to B, right? Let's start to think of it as a map. The locations stay the same, but the order and the route in which you hit them can change. That's a pretty high-tech case. Yeah, these pills are no joke. The wrong person tries to open up this case and it will burn their eye out. Jesus. When you just gave me one in a bar? Relax. This is a fake. So, do you have plans tomorrow morning? Oh yeah, I have a gig. I'm taking a midterm for a trust fund baby. It's 9 a.m., give or take. Let's say hypothetically that you take the pill, the Z-plus right now. When you take the pill, you're going to close your eyes. When you open them, they're going to be purple. That means you're jumping forward. You should be right on campus getting ready to take that test. Because then they'll definitely know something's up. But if I don't do well, I'm going to fucking fail, and my parents are going to fucking kill me. Wait, what happens to tomorrow me when I'm in their body? Here's where it gets a little more complicated. Let's go back to just before your eyes went purple on campus. I really have to do well on this. My parents are paying full tuition, as you know. While you're jumping forward from the day before, your tomorrow self is going to wake up in your body right now. Your eyes are going to be green. That means you're jumping backward. For the next hour, tomorrow Sophia's going to get to hang out here with me. Coffee shop. While today, Sophia... Will be in my body tomorrow. When the time runs out, you'll switch back. That's how it works, basically. Basically. 
basically. The stuff was originally concocted as a serum. See, much more unpredictable, much more dangerous. Eventually it was refined into the pill form, Z plus, with a bit more control. But can't any little thing change everything though? Like the butterfly effect? Yeah. So I would limit the amount of variables. The less we know, the better. We don't know what we're trying to steal. It makes it harder for us to screw it all up. The team is made up of three components, the sitter, the tech, and the photog. The sitter, me, is in charge of making sure that we don't lose our minds by limiting the amount of variables, such as the moving truck, making sure that we have limited knowledge in administering the Z. The tech's job is to plan the actual steal and manage the logistics. Lucky for us, we try to steal information that has no significant value on the day of, but means a whole hell of a lot of obtained the day before. Low risk, low security, high reward I see took the decals off the van. How's it going? You must be Sophia. <clears throat> I'm Spin. And I'm the new photog, I'm assuming? Yep. We get you in, you remember it when you come back. Do I want to know what happened to the other one? <sighs> before you agree to anything, you should be aware that there are certain dangers involved in what we do. When you steal from people, sometimes they fight back. But above all else, we follow my rules. We get in, we get out, and we get paid. And then, we're all on our own. What do you think? So what are we stealing? Finn. I have bad news and I have good news. Our target is 14 account numbers, 10 digits each, to be published and stored in their records Thursday. <laughs> I've omitted the name of the company for obvious reasons. 14 account numbers? It's a lot. You okay? Yeah. So the location is a nightmare for us. Cameras everywhere at all times, security at every entrance. It's a non-starter, and with such a short runway for planning, even more of a zero-chance operation. You said there was good news? Simon Willoughby. Technically on their staff as a programmer, but in reality, he's a go-between for any large and less than ethical deals for the company. Basically, he's the fall guy. No, 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 I, I, I don't need to know any of that. No, just, just send me over the details and I'll take care of it. What's good for us is that he works from his fancy upstate chalet this time of year. Yeah, so I'm, I'm heading north for the week, yeah. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta come check this place out, man. We'll hang out in the jacuzzi. It'll be a great time. Yeah, no, no, I'm good. Okay, yep, I'll give you a quick call later. Bye-bye. Place is nice, but it's less than secure. Does seem, though, as of late, he's been going through some stuff. It's easy. Just because you're not currently where you want to be, spiritually and physically, you mustn't ever forget that tomorrow is a new day. A day to be a new you. Repeat after me. I am good enough. I am good enough. I am worth it. I am worth it. I have value. I have value. I am a good person. I am a good person. New call from Todd Hamilton. Hey, yo! What can I do for you? We'll have the numbers on his computer Thursday morning. That gives us a very small window of time to obtain them and get them to the organization before our deadline. Any questions? So, you know the plan. Unless shit hits the fan, we should wake up at location B, in which we'll infiltrate through the pipeline to the main property. Ben. Then it's a matter of Simon chasing the delivery. The mail usually comes around 9.30 or 10. Then we get in, we get the target off the computer, and we get out undetected. Copy? Copy. Word of advice, Sophia? The first time can feel a little jolting. Don't fight it. You get used to it. Quarter mile into those woods is the drainage pipe. That'll take you to Simon's backyard. You good? I'm good. 
to see it soon. at the spot. That's a go, Finn. Where are you going? Finn, it's locked. Can you pick it? Yeah, sure. Stand back. you learn to do that? Don't want to know. Come on, come on. Just the fuck? I'm right here! The email's not here. Then the email's not there. Should have been there at 10. Well, it's not. Well, if it's not there, it's coming soon. Well, we don't really have that kind of time, Ben. It is. Wait, it just came in. Let's go. Oh, give me a couple seconds. All right, time's up. Let's go. Okay, got it. We? We got company. Who? Yeah. Yeah, right here. Bring it back. Yeah. Drive away and then come back. Right, bring it right fucking here. Holy shit. What do we do? Go. Minimal impact. Get off of me. Get the fuck off of me. Okay. Whatever it is. If it's about a deal, I can get you details. Oh, God. Hi. I don't know who you are, but I can fix whatever the fuck it is. Shh. I know. Are you alone? This is my place. I'm alone. I'm always fucking alone. Okay? Kill him. Please! Please don't! I can get you whatever you want. I, I can do whatever you want. I know some very, very powerful, very rich people. I can make whatever it is that you want to have happen. I'm just trying to actually be a little bit better of a person. I'm just not quite there yet. I can't die right now, okay? Please. See, I knew you weren't alone.
right here and I'll get out. Thank you so much for saving me. I really do appreciate it. Wait, were those the same guys that killed Martin? I don't know! Who's Martin? Get out. What do you mean, get out? Get out! 15 seconds. We'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow? 11 seconds, please. What? 7 seconds. Until what? Ready? Where are we? Why are we at your place, Lee? I don't know. Why aren't we in the truck? Because we clearly left the truck after we jumped backwards. Fuck! Z's gone. What do you mean? I mean, it's gone. Everything. Okay, let's recap. We were in the truck and took the Z. Our tomorrow selves occupied our bodies for the next hour. During that hour, they somehow got us to your trailer and the Z was stolen. Uh, Maybe the driver brought us here and forced you to hand on the Z? It wasn't the driver. We were being followed since the beginning. Yeah, no shit. No, there was another car. It looked like your car. Is someone gonna explain how we got out of a moving truck? Yeah. How did we get out of the truck, Lee? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I knew it. There's an ice gainer in the truck, isn't there? But the truck is moving. You have all these rules that everyone has to follow except for you. It's for emergencies. Listen, we could have just decided to come back here, hide Z from whoever it is before they got to it. Okay, where would you hide it? I don't know, it could be anywhere. Like, here? Stop. What? Don't look. Why? If you look and it's not there, then we can't come back tomorrow and hide it. Schrodinger's cat. Whose cat? Schrodinger's cat. It's an idea about paradoxes and realities. So you have a box with a cat in it, and you don't know if it's alive or dead. Before you look inside the box, it's actually both alive and dead. Either reality could be true. Once you look inside the box, though, we're committed to that version. So the Z is both... Behind the panel and not behind the panel. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what do we do? We stick to the plan. Tomorrow we drive to Simon's cabin, park the car, we jump backwards into the truck, we come here, we hide the Z behind the panel, wake up in the woods, deal with Simon, and then we are having beers by dinner. And what about the job? And your car? I'll figure it out. Do you have the numbers? And may I please have the keys to the van? Better get us paid. It is gonna be fine. (laughs) It's gonna be fine. I'm sorry. The liquid sample you provided to us is just very unstable. We're getting closer, but it's not ready yet. Do you understand what this is, Dr. Mueller? This is spatiotemporal neuroscience, and it's extremely complicated. Wrong. This is a race. A race for the future, do you understand? I do. Keep working. Is Danny here? 
He's out there trying to find somebody to buy that stupid boat. Everything okay? Our brains have already established a timeline in which we wake up at my place. So if we wake up anywhere else, our brains aren't going to know which timeline is the right one. I still, I still don't understand the blindfolds. It can be very tempting to want to try and change your past, even only for a day. If we don't know where we are when we go back, it makes it a lot tougher to change things and lose total grip on our reality. <sighs> this shit is complicated. You're telling me. So be honest. When you get to the truck, do you, Lee Warner, really not know where you are? <sighs> you still in love with Finn? <laughs> How's she doing? She's good. I gotta finish closing. You good to go home? Yeah, I got Finn's van. What happened to your car? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> well, good luck tomorrow. Or today, or... I don't fucking know. Hi there. Oh, shit. <laughs> you scared me. Sorry. Would you like to join me for another drink? Um, I think the bar's closing. <clears throat> Look, this is really great, but I think that you think that I'm somebody else. Don't fight it. Oh, fuck was that? Don't fight it. Pleasure to finally talk to you, Mr. Warner. What is this? What is going on? You've been injected with the consciousness communications device. I just spoke with my representative, and I would love to discuss how you and I can improve our working relationship. I've had a fucking phone call, man. Leah, I took the privilege of looking at your profile here. Arrested seven times? Robbery, fraud, counterfeit, I mean, the list goes on and on. I, I'm also reading here that you got one of your team members killed. Such a pity. But nevertheless... You carry on. You seem quite strong-willed. I'm also strong-willed. Where's their money? Lee, the organization needs your help. And quite frankly, we at the organization do not like to get our hands dirty. And it would be such a terrible shame if something were to happen to one of your people. Again, that is. Look, Lee, let's not have another death due to your pride, shall we? If you reconsider the offer of helping us, you can find another microchip in your left jacket pocket. You know what to do. back in the truck we'll have one hour to get out take the van to my place and hide the z what happens if we don't nothing good wait again remind me how this is supposed to get us paid five seconds i have a contingency plan what you do see you in the truck Not gonna be needing one. 
damn back. Now what are you gonna do? Improvise. We need to hide the Z and leave everything else exactly how we found it. Hey guys, we need to hide the Z and leave everything else exactly how we found it. Got it. Wait, this was open yesterday. Because we opened it. Okay. Oh, no, no, remember, leave it off. That's how we found it when we woke up here yesterday. Right, the fucking cat thing. Positions. How are we doing for time? Five minutes. And we were in these spots, right? Yeah, I think I was over here. Something's not right. We're ahead of schedule? I hope so. I was thinking perhaps we could make a trade. I have something that you may want. You have 10 seconds. See, we're not so different, Lee. I was just a few years too early. What's your, what's your experience, experience right, now, right now? Think about what that first batch of serum was like. Your own memories becoming lies. It's hard to describe. You become powerless. See, your mind is real. Small. It's pretty quite fascinating, isn't it? An entire galaxy of moments living inside our minds. With that being said, I prefer to live in the here and now. Whenever you wake up tomorrow, your friend here can either be dead or alive. But you probably already know what happens. As we both know, we can always change things, right?
Now go. I'll see you soon, Lee. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry, so Finn. Time? Uh, 30 seconds. I know the way this is gonna sound, but I need you to go. What? We are about to wake up here. If he's here when we do, we're gonna lose total grip. I need you to go right now. Okay, what the fuck? Sophia! Stop. 15 seconds. Take it and go, okay? You're welcome to follow us, but don't let us know you're there. I'll see you at this time tomorrow. Five seconds. Positions. Three, two, one. So I'm gonna ask again. What the fuck is going on? Huh? I am so sorry. Who's this? I'm Sophia. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. His name is Derek Volkov. He's a Russian mobster who was, for some reason, hired to obtain the full supply of Z+. He's hired mercenaries to take the Z and jump so he doesn't have to. I'm confused. We saw you die. Not quite. I didn't make it out. The first time I was told. They kept me just barely alive long enough for them to undo it. They can fuck with events on his behalf without him having to know their identities. Then when they start to go crazy, lose their grip on reality, they're disposed of. Do you know who hired him? I don't. I do. Derek Volkov is a client of mine. I've never met him until today. Go on. Untie me and tell me what's going on and then yeah, maybe I will go on. He's a client. By name only. Actually, they have a very large transaction scheduled for this week. How big? Big, like 100 million. Derek's selling over the Z that we handed to him. What do you do exactly? I'm a programmer for a crypto company. I facilitate large transfers with guaranteed anonymity, no questions asked. So you help the crooks get paid. Crooks like you? It's the future. Just as good as cash and completely untraceable. You know, I'm going to be killed for this. I'm in too deep and I know too much with these guys, so I really hope that you guys can do something. I've seen the trades this company's made. They're after something big. I know based on everything you guys know about me, I'm a total piece of shit. I I, I get that. I, I, but I've really been trying to actually be a better person. So that in the case that I do bow out, I'd like to go out as a slightly smaller piece of shit than I am now. What are you saying? What I am saying is that they're on a different level. They want to control everything. Full market manipulation. So, I don't know if you all are the, are the good guys or the bad guys, but it seems to me that you're all my best chance of staying alive. And to start being a better person. I appreciate that sentiment. The problem is, we're all dead. We have no Z, so no matter what we do, there'll always be a day ahead of us. What the fuck is Z? Stop flexing. I'm not. I'm starting to have that feeling again. Then we should be dead. Why aren't we? They have our Z. Because they want something else. Like more Z? No. Do you know where he is? No. Nobody does. Lee. Fine. He may have reached out a couple times. That could be the $100 million transaction. Then 
No. The only way to protect ourselves from these guys is to get more Z from Jay. But that's exactly what we want. And as soon as we lead them there, they'll kill us. Unless you make a plan. So again, where are we going? His name's Jay. He's the cook. Something wrong? Hmm? We have a bit of a complicated history. He used to pay me cash to test out the Z Plus, and I haven't seen him since. Since when? Since I stole it from him. So I know I've been asking this a lot, but where are we going? Jay's. Oh, right. Is the one who invented this stuff. The time travel shows. Yup. Uh, have you met this guy? No, Lee has. So, like, time travel. Wow. Can someone just please explain to me how all this works? Fine. So are you and the, the guy with the stash of thing? I mean, I mean... Married or something? I mean, you seem like you guys are really hitting it off. You know? It's called CTT, Consciousness Time Treating. I thought I was done dealing with you, Lee. Hard to get rid of. That's that. We're out of Z on the run and they have the supply. And that's why I stopped producing. You and I both know you keep doing this, you'll end up dead or worse. So, can you help us out? Maybe. What do you want? I don't want anything. You know, we're not all into this for personal gain. Plus, I only have one pill left. That's it. Well, that and some uh, <laughs> newly created muscle relaxers. What's wrong with them? They'll kill you. Lee was kind enough to give me some of his clothes. No shit, you look like Tommy Bahama fucked a wet dog. <laughs> so, um, how, how long have you known the other guys? Need you guys to jump in the van and put these sensors down on any roadways that connect to here within five miles. If they come early, we'll know. Sophia's idea. And a good one, too. <clears throat> so, uh, what are you going to do with this is all done, huh? I haven't thought that far. You're going to keep running forever? I haven't thought about it. I am so sorry what I did to you and the others. <sighs> Save it, Jay. No, I, I was selfish. Selfish? You think? You understand the fucked up things that you used to do? Recruiting desperate people like me? I thought I was acting in the name of science. I told you all about my brother, how sick he was. He was my only family and... And I would do anything that I needed to to help him out. You never even seemed to care, Jay. But every time we jumped, we lost a little bit of our connection to reality. I know, it's just that when you took the when Z... When I took I... the Z, that's because that was the quickest thing that I could do to get my brother the money that he needed. And how did all that work out? I went too far. Eventually, I couldn't differentiate between what happened and what didn't. I ended up owing a lot of money. I don't want to see you crash like this. 
Never again. I told you, I gotta figure it out. I, I know, I know you think you have it all under control, but believe me when I tell you, you're either gonna have to give this up or bring others in. Jay, after this is done, I'm getting rid of the Z+. Plus. Whatever you say. You wanna know the worst thing? Put two grand on the jets. You serious? You came in and made that bet yesterday, Lee, and lost. What? No, no, I didn't. This is the fifth time this week. You keep calling and repeating yourself. Um. Oh, shit. <laughs> what day is it? Really? It's Tuesday. Lee, are you okay? No, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I, I, uh, I'm fine. I just, I gotta go, Dim. Hi, Nancy. Yeah, I was, uh, I, I called my brother and, um, I don't know, he must be sleeping or something like that. I was just thinking about coming by today. Lee, I'm not sure I understand. No, I called Matt. I, I just need to come by and talk to him about some family stuff. The end, I didn't even know that my brother had died. Uh-oh. I'm driving. Okay. According to the information we have from Simon and Martin, this plan is based on the assumption that Derek and his guys will try to take us down tomorrow. First question is who jumps forward since we only have one pill? That is Martin. Sorry, Sophia. He's got the experience. Over the next 24 hours, I'll set up a security camera system around the house that will record continuously. Martin, tomorrow you'll take the Z+. Presumably, you'll wake up the day of the ambush. The security camera feed will be sent directly to your phone. You'll have one hour to scrub through the footage to find out exactly when and how they come. I know I don't have to tell you this, but every detail helps. Once you have the information, you'll wake up back here and inform us of everything. At that point, Lee and I will form a plan to recontextualize events in our favor. Okay, first of all, love the optimism, but each of Derek's men carry enough Z serum with them that they could be jumping forwards or backwards at any moment. So no matter what we do, they will always be ahead of us. Even if this does succeed, they're not going to stop. Noted. Um, how can I help? How much control do you have over Derek's transactions? Can you direct it? Maybe. I mean, if we're within a mile of Oak up when the transaction gets improved, then yeah, probably. Love that confidence. Okay. I'll have it tonight. Good, good, very good. Get the transfer ready. The funds will be in your account until midnight tonight. Then we need answers. Hey, how we doing? This definitely isn't low risk. We don't have to do this. We can figure something else out. No, we're going to finish the job. It'll work. And what if it doesn't? Then you guys can run, Jay. We'll make some more. You'll stay ahead. You'll figure something out. Thought we were getting rid of the Z. I'll leave that up to you. Northwest sensor just went off. Mm -hmm. Hide everyone. We gotta move. Derek and his guys are early. They're gonna be here in five minutes. Well, shit. So, uh, question. How am I supposed to jump to tomorrow and give us an heads up if we're all going to be dead within the hour? It's a beautiful day. You have a plan, don't you? Are you serious? <laughs> well, don't tell me. I mean, I don't care. I love surprises. Do you? Long time no see. I wanted to thank you for the gift. Robert? The name's Derek now, Jay Tupple. What happened to you, Robert? Derek! The name is Derek. They told me about your Z plus, the advances that you made. It's pretty amazing stuff compared to what we used. The jumping. No, it's not. 
They only have one pill left. I was going to take it this afternoon. Sorry, Lee. I just, uh, I've had it with your self serving rules. Your rules got me killed. The girl is still inside. I mean, you've got a time travel pill, right? And your first thought is, oh, petty crime. <laughs> you know what your problem is, Lee? You've got no imagination. I mean, look at you. You're, you're a low budget Tom Selleck cosplaying alcoholic. <laughs> but us, we're gonna change the world. You piece of shit. You led us straight to Jay, and then you led them straight here. Waited for us to make a plan, and then you fucked us. Sorry. Why don't you take us and let them be? Oh, well, why would I do that? Because you need me alive. Fortunately for me, you're fine. Except I'm not. I made these muscle relaxers, and they're not good. I mean, they're deadly. Really, you should see in the back the mass graveyard I have for the mice. So when I saw you coming, I took one. I have about 30 minutes to live. You're lying. Go ahead, kill him. I don't care. I mean, his mind is so messed up from the Z, it's probably all mush. He's nothing to me. He's worthless. Thank you, Jay. No problem. But I know where an antidote is. It's buried in a safe in an empty field about five miles from here. We go, leave them here, get the antidote, and off we go. Pack up the body. I'm sure there's some experiments they could do if the old man's not lying. Number one, number two, take them inside. Number three and I'll take this one. We'll meet you back here once we have the antidote. You need to calm down. Finn, Lee just got killed and we lost the scientist. What the fuck do you want? Everything's fine. Are you sure? Yeah, are you sure, Finn? Trust me. Yes? We have the stash, we have the scientist. Lee's dead. Well done. What's your ETA? We have a little bit of a situation. Tupple poisoned himself. We're on our way to get the antidote. Send your location, I'll send someone. Mm, okay, no. That's not gonna work for me. And why is that, Mr. Volkov? Because once you know my location, I'm a dead man. I need the transaction approved before I return. Fine. I'll send half. But only after I see a picture of a healthy Dr. Tapple will I approve. Okay, good. Deal. We have eight minutes to get within one mile of them. Need to get to the van. Simon, you still think you can redirect that transaction? Yeah. Computer's in the van. You have the keys, right? Oh, shit. I, I left them on the counter. Okay. Look at the keys. How are you going to do that? Improvise. Take it off. Tell us where the antidote is buried. It's about two feet underneath that red reflector. Go. You may have some trouble. It's not a combination set. It's an eye scanner, and uh, if he uses his eyes, you burn him right out. I'll call your bluff.
I want you to take me. Why? No. Fine, I'll die. You have five minutes to get to them. Something wrong? I don't trust you. You know, Robert, I truly am sorry for what I did to you and everyone. I mean, my intentions were scientific. I wanted to see what was possible, what the mind was capable of. If I had known this storm was coming... Shut up! Do it. Cheers. Okay, pull over here. Okay, good. The transfer's been approved. Soon the system will pinpoint the address of the receiver and transfer the money onto Volkov's device. The encryption process is behind a nearly unbreakable firewall, and once it's on his device and he's air-gapped, the money's gone for good. But... What? Guess who helped design the security system? Me. I... I did. I designed the security system. Who is this? Let's just say I'm a ghost. Where are you? Honestly, it's complicated. Time travel and whatnot. I just wanted to say congratulations. Jay's all yours. I, I never got your name, by the way. If I can clone Derek's device and address, I can hijack the transfer in the money's ox. Let's just hope no one catches on. I ask again, where? Are you? Okay, fine. But first I have a question. What do you want with the Z? I mean, all this work to track down a crazy old man. It's just me and my friends. We love a good plan. Fuck. Now I just need the system to find me before it finds him. Lee, do you know what the world's most valuable resource is today? It's not money. It's time. No, it's data. Whoever controls the information controls... Everything. People are products, Lee. And with more information, the more you can tell them what to think, how to act, we can bring people together, Lee. Unfortunately, Jay Tupple seems to be the only person who knows how to make what I need. Six months ago, I received a list of subjects that included both you and Mr. Volkov. Our research showed that you were one of the only ones aware of the location of Dr. Tapple. So why not kidnap me and cut my fingers off or something? In the meantime, we figured we might use you to replenish our finances. But secondly, as I said, we at the organization don't like to get our hands dirty. Volkov. He's always sending one man jumping forward, one man jumping back. You never stood a chance. Okay, okay. Encryption's done. It's bridging the two accounts. It's either gonna go to us or them. Hopefully us. Now, where are you? Right, sorry. Um, mm. The better question is when. Mm, but sure, physically? Physically, I'm in a boat with $50 million in my bank account.
It worked. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Fuck yeah! I fucking told you guys it would work. Get out of there and kill Derek. And take Jay. The money's all yours. Right now you're probably calling Martin and telling him to get Jay in the Z and get out of there. Hey. Don't bother. He'll be stuck in there for the next 30 seconds or so. If you knew our plans, the question is, how can you possibly know what's happening next? So you don't think we have time to make a fake batch? Not when it's any good. We'll figure it out. Come in. Did I interrupt something? No. Do we have a plan? Because I'm not thrilled about being sidelined like this. We're oh, working yeah. on it. How are you so sure you could trust Simon? Or Martin, for that matter? How do we know that we can trust you? You can't, but if you don't need me, I don't need to be here. I'm taken. I have an idea. I need you guys to jump in the van and put these sensors down on any roadways that connect to here within five miles. If they come early, we'll know. Martin didn't lay down his sensors. Okay, then. Okay, so they'll be here at 12.58 p.m., Derek and three guys in masks. Martin's in on it like we thought, so we're gonna need that fake pill that you gave me. I didn't totally hear why, but Jay did something crazy, and they're talking about someone named Robert. Lee, you get shot. Where? In the chest. It's gonna hurt. Four times. Did you see him die? No. Okay, so right now Lee is both alive and dead. Schrodinger's cat. Let's set the odds in our favor. Martin, tomorrow you'll take the Z+. Plus. They only have one pill left. I was going to take it this afternoon. I'm not fucking around here! Pack up the body. I'm sure there's some experiments they could do. If the old man's not lying. Each of Derek's men carry enough Z serum with them that they could be jumping forwards or backwards at any moment. I told you, my friends and I, we love a good plan. See you later. I said let's go! We got him. Oh shit, that was hot. I can't no, 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 fuck! You gotta be fucking kidding me. Connor's got bulletproof windows! Oh, you need to shut! Look at me! <laughs> Clever! You know, none of this matters, right? The organization and I are weeks away from turning my old supply of Z into your fancy Z+. Plus. So if you think... I got to let you run. Shit! I'm gonna kill you! Hey. So, what's next for you, Jay? Good question. I, I really don't know yet. Mm. Well, you know they're gonna be after you. 
Yeah, but don't worry about me. I'll go home, I'll do some fishing, and, uh... I'll wait for my next call. You been using. How are you feeling? Okay. I'm just... Just weird. Mm. The future that you saw yesterday when you jumped forward, how close was that to what actually happened today? It's pretty close, I think. Can I ask you something? All these, like, memories and timelines. How do you decide what's real? Look around, figure out what you believe is true right now, and just commit to it. And if you still have questions, you can ask me. Son of a bitch. Hey, how's it going? Whoever this is, leave a message. This is a courtesy call. I hope you're running. Because whenever we find you, well, you and whoever you're with are going to wish you were dead. Well, we don't need money anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the plan? Let's see how far those pills go to you. Because now they're your only chance. You can say goodbye to living in the moment, Lee. Because from this moment on, if you want to stay alive, you'll be living in the yesterday, the today, and the tomorrow. Welcome to tomorrow. Hello. I have some news. We've had a successful test. We believed we've cracked the formula. Really? Yes. And no. What we've created is close. However, whereas Z Plus allowed trading between days, this one appears to be stronger. How so? Sir. This isn't a matter of hours or days. We're talking about weeks, months, maybe more. We don't know. Excellent. 